welcome to Gemstone Tarot Friday, the 10th of January, 2020. 2020, okay, let's have a look. What do we need to know? It is, of course, full moon lunar eclipse in Cancer. So we need to have a think about that. <laughs> let's just see, oh, okay. Okay, wow, oops, crumbs. Okay, not too shabby. In fact, I like it some difficult energies in there but there's also some very solid energies okay let's put you two over here it was looking a little bit iffy when I pulled the first two cards I have to say okay um I pulled the five of pentacles which is particularly dreary in this set five of pentacles is always someone who is set apart from fellowship it usually shows the church and in the old-fashioned sense when people did used to um, congregate socially when the church might have been the only building the warmest building the building with the that's why it has the church window with the pentacles stuck in the window a place of shelter a place of solace and a place of belonging so in the five of pentacles you're kind of shut out of somewhere but you are also voluntarily excluded so you'll notice there's usually um, someone with some crutches and there's someone that they're helping. And there is a notion that they could go in the church, but they don't. They choose to take this walk in the snow. There is an element of choosing some kind of sacrifice or difficult path that comes with this lunar eclipse and cancer energy. Okay, next to it, that oh that three of swords i mean this is one of the most sinister three of swords you know and there's some sinister three of swords wild unknown tarot out there um but this one is just so dark you know granny's got voodoo it's not granny's got ink it's granny's got voodoo and maybe ink as well i mean i don't know it's just it's just difficult isn't it i find this really like okay so that's two difficult um, brown kind of beige coloured, lonely coloured, um, weird energy. Okay. And also we have the four of pentacles, sun in Capricorn, which kind of makes sense as well, doesn't it? To have the sun in Capricorn. Sun in Capricorn is the energy, and I think we might have had it yesterday, of the I want to keep it this way, I want to hold on. It's like a grabby energy. And that voodoo granny energy, that's quite <sighs> grabby, nasty, manipulative, triangulation type stuff. Okay. Then we have some very solid cards. So I've got the Three of Wands, which in this is this lovely lighthouse. And I love the emblem of the lighthouse because it's, sh it's like shining a light. It's showing someone where you are. It's almost like a, you know, hands up, here I am. Here's my lighthouse type energy. And it feels like there is a bridge to something more secure. Alongside the three of wands, I've got the seven of pentacles, which is my, usually it has a workman leaning on his hoe and he's got like a pile of leaves and seven pentacles and it's like hmm i'll just count my pentacles i'll just see what my harvest is like so there is a sense of us counting our pentacles and she's got princess leia hair as well look at that always appreciate princess leia buns for now for now um there's a bridge here there's toil there's work there's something earthy happening which I really, really like, okay? Then we have the Ace of Swords. Now this is swing up the crown chakra energy. It's, aha, ooh, epiphany.
epiphanies. A full moon lunar eclipse is going to bring a lot of slosh and then there's going to be epiphanies after the slosh. Now the slosh is definitely including the three of swords and the five of pentacles and the four of pentacles which is this tight mean emotional energy either inside us or coming from some some other situational person but cuts through the maze i mean i really really like this i really like that energy and above it we have the queen of wands now the queen of wands is a diva type energy it's a fire sign it could be the person that you're dealing with or it could just be you coming into some kind of dominion it feels like from some quite drab and difficult energy, we do wrestle some kind of epiphany and power. In the middle of the reading, this beautiful Knight of Cups, an offer coming in of some kind, usually to do with love or to do with something that you love. It can be a job you love, a person you love, or just life throwing you an emotional bone. That sounds really bad. Um, it's a nice card. It's a nice offer, okay? Then, overall energy, slightly more cards today because there is a lunar eclipse, the king and the queen of pentacles. Now that's a fine pairing. It really is a fine pairing. King of pentacles represented here as the kind of bank manager, you know, looking after the crown jewels, after the vault. And the queen of pentacles kind of what I call the queen of velvet waiting, the queen who kind of knows how to sit comfortably, who is rich, she's quite well off, she's well, look at the stack of cash. She's good at handling the pentacles, but so is he, and this is a very simpatico energy. But also they are the king and queen of things that are made real, pentacles, not, I was gonna say hearts, not cups, and ha oh, you know, shall I compare thee in Romeo and Juliet? No, it's real. This is something real. Now, this could be a job thing. This could be an offer. We've got the Knight of Cups, King and Queen of Pentacles. Yes, could be an offer from a couple. It could be something to do with selling a house. Anything which causes this Seven of Pentacles bridge to epiphany, to moving on, to things happening, to being recognised, to I am here, universe. Count me in, okay? Count me in instead of hmm count me out brian and wendy frieda weighing in here with i think probably just one card let's have a look heart of the fairy oracle oh have to have another one if we have that one That's a really interesting card, actually. Woof! Okay. <laughs> Don't mess around, will you? The Lady of Sorrows. Now, this is about taking off the mantle or, you know, the headdress or whatever it is of our own uh, victim mentalities. Now, that sounds like, oh, well, you know, it's all your fault. I don't mean it in that way. I just mean it in the... Because obviously, you know, we've got granny here doing some voodoo. Stuff has gone down. I'm not saying it hasn't. But when you get the lunar eclipse, it is an emotional release. For some reason, we're tempted to hold on to it. Like that. You know, yesterday we had that kind of grabby energy. And we've got the four of pentacles, which is a grabby energy. We may be tempted to hold on to our sorrows from maybe 2018, 2019 when we had cancer eclipses. The speaker of truth is the other card. I know, look at that. Love that card actually. Really, really love that card. And I take the joy of the future. This is a really nice reading. It has its darker moments and we certainly do need to release something. And I kind of see here, she's releasing this, what I think is a dove or a goose. It's a dove. She's releasing a dove. I like that a lot. It feels like a bridge. Yep. Actually, yeah. Wisdom of the Oracle, Colette Baron Reed. Hoof. Hoof and a woof. 
You got a hoof, oof, and a woof, and a oof. A hoof, a woof, and a oof. Okay. Orphaned. That's the Lady of Sorrows. Again, it's about being left alone, being alone, feeling alone, feeling defensive, all of those things, okay? They're all true, but somehow we need to get onto this Seven of Pentacles Bridge of Abundance, okay? All that glitters, yes. We've got an awful lot of gold and jewels in this. I mean, we've got three piles. We've got it there in the vault at the bank. We've got it there at the foot of the feet. There at the feet of the queen. And now we have it here. All that glitters is not gold. Somebody might have tried to sell you something, you know, an emotion, a situation, a job, whatever it is, that was not what it seemed to be. Then we get yin. This is not about taking radical action. This is about finding a comfortable bridge, okay? Finding a comfortable release point, not holding on to the sorrows. Now, there's no reason why we would consciously want to hold on to sorrows, but as humans, we do. I don't know why we do it, but we do. Okay, healing with the angels. Two. Nice. I'll take that one as well. <laughs> we keep getting that one. Retreat. But retreat is in a calm way, okay? Retreating. The energy of this full moon lunar eclipse is Cancerian energy. And that, you know, it's a water sign energy. It is a yin energy for me. We've got yin. It's coming to terms with who we are, what has happened in this situation, and what we need to release in order to get onto the bridge, okay? And then we get playfulness, which is like the opposite energy of the granny voodoo card. <laughs> Ew. Wow, leave me a comment about that reading, okay? Do like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Namaste.